Ready? Emma's very well lit, Arena less so. Doesn't matter about her. Okay. What? Just letting you know. Emma, you're perfect, let's go. <laughs> I never paid a bill in my life using some. I never paid you a... never paid a bill in your life, yes, you know. Every <laughs> time I see her, I was saying, you're fat. You're oh. fat, you're fat. How can you afford that lifestyle? Yeah. Our trip to the beach was short. Thanks, God. And we didn't get to finish the video or our Q&A. So we decided to do the rest of it back here at Arena's apartment. One of the first questions was from Ava and she asked, how do you keep in shape, Irina? Well, to be honest, it's not that easy in quarantine, it's but like more challenging. More challenging for everyone. I think everyone put a little bit on weight, which is fine. A few extra pounds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the thing is, I think the key is when I wake up in the morning, it's like I never have breakfast. I just have a coffee mm -hmm. and then I go straight to my workout. So I like to work out in the morning, so I'm done with it. And you I have just... a bit of an intermittent fasting going on it's... between your last meal and your next meal. That's true. And sometimes I just skip dinners as well. So sometimes I just have literally one meal a day. And this really helps me. work for me. <laughs> one meal a day and it's pasta. <laughs> I, I think you also move a lot. You're always going for walks. She's yeah. always tracking her steps. And I think Irina's always been very conscious of size and wanting to look her best and fitting into dresses and constant net supported delivery. <laughs> and fitting into the camera frame as well. <laughs> yes, you look a bit squished. A lot of you guys are asking me how I've maintained my weight loss. I did a get lean video. I'll link in the description box below. Well, I can tell you why, how. Oh, you Each can time tell I see her, I'm saying you're fat. You're oh. fat, you're fat, she's like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna lose weight. And, but how? How did I maintain it? You maintain it From by bullying me? Yeah. <laughs> because Irina's a bully? Yes. Um, so if you want to lose weight, guys, just get that friend that's a bully. Let me bully you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, okay. it's not nice to say. But actually, oh, I motivate nice. you to lose weight, right? You did have a helping hand in that, for sure. I would say there was a few things, but let's keep it short and sweet for this Q&A and then I'll do another video. Number one is I reduced my carb intake. I really reduced it massively. So high protein, low carb diet. Second of all is that I cut out any of hidden sugars in drinks, in food that I was consuming. Um, I looked at every ingredients label. I stopped eating late at night and I started doing uh, like a fast from like evening time even if I ate late like say 9 10 o'clock I just make sure it had at least a 14 to 16 hour window yeah. before my next meal um, I would say diet was a 90% exercise was 10% because when I was bigger I was exercising five days a week and I wasn't losing anything I was trying to out train my diet but as soon as I stuck with the diet cut out anything I was overeating or binging on and the number one trick is if you find yourself craving it, just don't have it in the house. Don't buy it, don't have it in the house. Then you're not tempted. It's true. Okay, I love this question. What is important and not important in your life yes. after quarantine? Ken, send that one in. One of the most important things I've realized after quarantine is who matters the most to me in my life? Who is checking in on me? Who have I got closer to? I definitely think quarantine has meant those relationships I do have have become stronger. And those that were slightly in the gray area, just kind of filtered away. So I think quarantine has been a very good filter. What I found that it's not important to me, you know what's interesting, I've heard from other people, shopping, right? Shopping isn't important, look wearing nice clothes is not important. <laughs> we absolutely disagree with that. We don't want to look our best. So I would say that hasn't changed. Still materialistic as ever. <laughs> Um, Finally, <laughs> she's saying the truth. 
<laughs> what else? Um, I think travel is still important to me because oh, I'm dreaming about it every single exactly. day. Exactly. This is my most important thing that I missed. Is traveling. But what is important and what's not important? So we travel, think travel, is, travel is very important. It feeds my soul. It I opens love... up your mind. It makes you more creative. You meet great people. You, you know what was for me unimportant? What? And this is really crazy. I would never believe. Restaurants. I just get That's used true. so much eating at mm -hmm. home uh, or like even take away and just go to, to the park or like picking up something small from Whole Foods. It's just I don't need restaurants anymore or even cooking yourself. It's just much more healthier. I feel 100%. much better. I wake up and I feel much better than eating out. Don't you have a chef delivering food every day? Yes, I do. <laughs> By the way, we're gonna, he's an amazing chef. Do you have any regrets when it comes to men? Hmm. Yes, I have. Okay, tell us. My biggest reg regret, I think in general, not only with men, just wasting my time on wrong people mm. and wasting my energy. So true. Nothing worse than feeling like you're putting in more, you're caring more, you're doing more than the other person. Yeah. When it's one-sided, that's it's the true. worst feeling ever. The way I always look at some things, I don't live in regret because if I do, it makes me feel resentful and bitter. And I think there's so much opportunity and things to get excited about for the future and who you're going to meet and etc. Yeah. So I would say don't have regrets. Look at them as learning experiences because Just everything that you've gone through, every hardship, every adversity, they shape who you are and uh, you've just got to learn yeah see it as a learning curve Everyone learn and move on exactly any advice on how to deal with adversity adversity could also be bullying someone giving you a hard time trolls on the internet um, mm. i personally find this probably one of the hardest things about what i do is that every week putting up a new video putting myself out there for judgment for criticism and yeah. if i think about it for a little bit too long it totally puts me off editing, of like putting something out there, of just getting on with it. Um, but sometimes you just bite the bullet and think, you know what, I just gotta do this. This is where I am and this is my goal. And I can't let anyone else dictate to me. What's that favorite line I have? I never paid a bill in my life using some... I never paid you a... never paid a bill in your life, yes, you know. <laughs> I never paid <laughs> This is what you wanna say, right? No. I never paid a bill with someone else's opinion, so. With that in mind, I think you have to block it out. Do you be true to yourself and and don't let those haters get to you because it's on them, not on be you. Strong. How did you both become friends? We have answered this question a lot of times, but I remember Irina saying that when she first met me, we were like speaking, but it was very broken. Irina didn't understand most of what I was saying. And I was like, which quality do I look at? Like what, why? What's the catch? Why should I be friends with her? Yeah, like, why? Why? But, What's the connection? But, despite her not being able to understand me, one day, she came to my apartment and she sees a delivery, and another delivery, and a continual delivery of net -a porter bags, and it clicks, and she thinks, this is the type of friend I need. I want, I need, I get. So despite the barrier, the language barrier, we understood each other very well. Fashion, fashion. brought us together. That's still fashion and art. Yes, art also because Love Irina art was working fashion. at an art gallery. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, I used to work in art gallery for many years called Scream. So we used to represent um, Ronnie Wood's art. And we had a big exhibition in such a gallery where Emma was ambassador for... I was ambassador for a charity at the time, um, for the George Soros Foundation. And they were doing an exhibition there and that a mutual friend introduced us and that's how we first connected. I also have to say that you were working out at the same gym as me and I did uh, check you out. Oh. Twice. Doing nice. exercises, I was like, hmm. Your education. Question Your education is quite boring. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, your education is quite boring. I mean, no, the question about education I find is very boring. Like, what did you study? Let me put it this way. Think about many students who are thinking about what they want to do when they're older and they look at us and they think, we absolutely want to do what Arena and Emma do, which so you is shop all day and you do need YouTube need videos. <laughs> you don't need education, don't get me wrong for that. <laughs> no, like, no, I think it's important to have a base. You gotta have a base. <laughs> well, I study economics. If you can't hold a conversation and you're not street smart and book smart, then you're gonna have a few issues. 
<laughs> we combine. I think it's very important for a woman to study languages. Yes. I'm speaking four languages fluently. Well, Emma Miller speaks only one, English. And sometimes he makes mis she makes mistakes. He, she, she, he. Which one is it, Irina? <laughs> I guess some people are a jack of all trades and a master of none. <laughs> I mean, this is the number one thing. <laughs> You, you should study languages. I agree. Guys. And you know what? I speak a little bit of French, but I want to improve. French is not my language, but I speak okay. other languages. Yeah. <laughs> Which are? I don't want to name them. Oh, are they not relevant? <laughs> About my education, just a quick wrap up so I don't bore her and she doesn't fall asleep in the back there. Um, I went to medical school, I transferred out, decided I don't want to become a doctor anymore. And then I decided to do a history degree at King's College where I graduated. And uh, yeah. <coughs> Me, I study economics in Germany and I finished my degree in global business management in London. Yes, and now she's running her own business. So Irina went to Regents. Uh, yes, Regents College. I yeah, I studied at the Regents College. And, and I went to King's, which was not too far away. One is a holiday park, one is university. Right, next question. <laughs> How can you afford that lifestyle? Hmm. Mm hmm. Good question. So, I actually saw the School of Affluence answer this question in one of her videos. And what people see and what is reality are two Totally different, different, different things. things. You will see a girl traveling the world, she's on private jets, she's had new clothes, and you think, how? How? That's how they ask you, how? I'm telling you now, okay? So it's all fake. It's not, no, I wouldn't say it's fake because they're actually going on these trips and those are nice clothes. But what you have to understand is that many things are just borrowed or borrowed, lent, lent invites. It's not their own money that they're yeah. paying. Um, so a lot works on that kind of level of like invites, sponsorship. And you work with a lot of brands yes. and you do a lot of collaborations, you know? Absolutely. We don't spend all our money on clothes, it may look that way, but often we share each other's clothes, yeah, we're raiding true. each other's wardrobes. The rent things exactly. as well. And when it comes to fashion weeks and things like that, brands are more than happy to lend you clothes. You wear them and then you give them back. If you were to look at my Instagram and see all these beautiful dresses, I am um, lent them for the event and then they go right back the next day. So these aren't like my dresses necessarily. This is very efficient by the yeah, way. It's very, it's a very efficient way of living. Yeah, nowadays. working with different PR and that sort of thing. Next question is who has more shoes? Well, that's a very silly question because <sighs> look at this. Oh wow, look at they go so well with your jacket. I just got them. So nice, Amina Mawadi. We love Amina. Mm. So I think Irina definitely has more shoes. I also think I have more handbags. But we, we should do a little challenge, I think. Oh my god, we should. Uh, Please do another outfit try on, they're fun. Well, you are in love. <laughs> Delivery! Delivery! Uh oh, Irina's a very bad influence. Netta Porter had a sale. This looks so big. Oh my god, that's that's huge. But huge, that's actually, right? that's the right size for you, no? Do you love me? <laughs>